Today we're ranking dinosaurs, Jurassic Park dinosaurs, Jurassic Park movie dinosaurs specifically, because I never really watched Camp Cretaceous. Ah, bit my cheek every time. I never watched Camp Cretaceous because just kids don't get eaten in the show. There's no like risk. There's like the dinosaurs are freaking epic, but if there's no risk, you know what I'm saying? What am I doing? Leave a like on the video if you guys love dinosaurs. Subscribe because you're awesome and comment down below any disagreements you have with my tier list. I'm anxious to see why you guys disagree. Cause I'm usually so right and awesome. Also, like three of these I don't recognize. I don't recognize at least, actually maybe one of them I don't recognize. So if I don't recognize it, I'm sorry. Correct me down below. We're gonna be ranking these off the most epic, basically. Like your scale of epicness. There, the top one's Sigma, then Chad, Gangster, meh, Poop, Dookie, and Garbage. Now that's an official tier ranking system. Okay, the Allosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion kills a bunch of people. It was freaking awesome. I'm not even sure that was an adult. I think it was like a sub-adult, like a teenager. And he still kills a bunch of people. This dude is a freaking Chad. Not quite a Sigma, cause I don't know, it was moving really slow and dorky, but still killed a lot of people. Ankies are freaking Chad as hell, dude. They're one of the craziest, most heavily armored dinosaurs ever. But we're going off the movies. And in the movies, all it does is play pinball with a gyrosphere, get flipped upside down and killed by the Indominus. Freaking amazing dinosaur that due to its dying ends up in the Dookie. I think this isn't a Pathosaurus. I think those were the dinosaurs in Jurassic World 1 that the Indominus Rex killed indiscriminately when they're like, he's killing for sport. He said this to kill like 15 of these losers. There's like a whole graveyard of them. They didn't do anything to the Indominus, nothing. But they're still dinosaurs, they're still sauropods, they still love them. They can't defend themselves. They go into Dookie. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. The Baryonyx ate a bunch of people in Jurassic World Dominion 2. The same deal, pretty much. It could have been bigger. It was like a child. It still did good. It was kind of slow, but it was awesome. It was literally equal to the Allosaurus. They, they did the same thing. So he goes into Chad. I don't recognize this. I think that's from Camp Cretaceous. I don't know what those are. I'm skipping them. Next one's the Bracky. The Bracky was the first dinosaur you see in the first Jurassic Park movie, making it insanely epic. Now, it did get roasted alive in a lava marshmallow-esque situation in Fallen Kingdom, but we're not gonna knock it for that. Is the first dinosaur you see in the whole franchise, it ends up in Sigma, okay? We owe everything to that Bracky. This next one is also Camp Cretaceous. Skipping those, it's for the movies right now. We'll do Camp Cretaceous later. I, I believe this is a Ceratosaurus. It's the one that they see in, I wanna say Jurassic Park 3, when they were, it is Jurassic Park 3, and they roll up on it eating a corpse. Doesn't do anything though, but it looks awesome. That's the definition of meh. Pompies eat a guy in the first movie. They eat a uh, they eat a little girl in the second movie. In the books, they you know what? In the books, they ate a baby's face. So that's going right up to Sigma. I forgot about that. This is like a Cory something. I'm sorry, I don't even remember what movie those things were from. And maybe they were just a background herbivore. Didn't really do much. I think you might end up under Dookie as well. You didn't you weren't very impressionable. Dilophosaurus is a large, horrifying, monstrous beast. In Jurassic World Dominion, it's not that. So, I don't know. But it did kill that one guy, the main bad guy, Dogson. It killed Nedry pretty well. And most importantly in the books, it dissects Nedry's guts quite beautifully. That dude's going right into Sigma. The Morphodons are pretty cool. They like, I don't know, they do a lot of damage. They, they wreak havoc across like Jurassic Worlds, but they don't really do anything. They don't really kill anybody. But it puts you under meh. That was my general reaction. The Gallimimus doesn't do much, but it's so freaking epic nevertheless, because it stampedes. It's just like the main stampeder. In the first movie, these things almost flatten everybody. I don't know. Even though they don't do anything or hurt anybody, the Gallimimus is still like somewhat terrifying. The fact that he has no teeth, it still scares me, puts him in the gangster selection. Indominus Rex, obviously a Sigma. Indoraptor, obviously a Sigma. Those things are bulletproof monsters, dude. The next one is, well, I'm pretty sure it's Camp Cretaceous also. This list is killing me inside, but I'm gonna save those for its own video. So we'll put those aside. Mosasaur eats the freaking Indom and eats that babysitter lady. That babysitter lady getting eaten was hysterical, by the way. Plus now it's like off in the ocean eating people still. It's it's the only dinosaur or marine reptile that's still out there eating people. That's a freaking Sigma. This is like a Taurosaurus, I wanna say. I don't remember specifically. I feel like it was a background dinosaur in Jurassic World uh, Dominion. I feel like that's what it is. I, 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 I don't remember where it is and I'm gonna give it a bad ranking because of that. You know what? The poop selection's looking empty. There you go, buddy. Okay, this is the last Camp Cretaceous creature. I'm assuming that's what it is. The last one on the list we get to ignore. Thank God. Packies don't kill anybody. They don't mangle anybody 
anybody necessarily, but in freaking Lost World, they're so cool, dude. And just the very design of these dinosaurs. Dude's a freaking chat. I don't care what anyone says. The Packy is one of the scariest dinosaurs. Okay, Parasaur. Parasaur was a freaking kaiju in Lost World, dude. There's like 20 people holding that thing down. The, the Parasaur in Lost World was literally almost bigger than a T-Rex. It, it was crazy. It's a freaking stampeding monstrous herbivore right there. Heard of those trampling over your family and friends? They're dead. Pancakes. I'm putting those under gangster. Pteranodons, they did pick that lady up, the, the babysitter, and feed her to the Moza. But most importantly, they ate everyone on the boat in the beginning of Jurassic Park 3. They tortured the crap out of Billy in the birdcage later in Jurassic Park 3. I'm putting Pteranodon at gangster. Those things are freaking awesome. I think this next image is the Scorpius Rex. I'm not sure. That is Camp Cretaceous, but it's the Scorpius Rex. Whenever something's a godly freaking hybrid, they automatically go up to Sigma. I think that's like a Styrosaurus? Styro... Damn, I can't remember. It's in the games a lot. It's meh. That's what it is. Right into meh you go. Jurassic Park 3 spot. Spinosaurus, as far as I'm considered, is a monstrous hybrid. Spinos don't look anything like that. This thing was a killer. Like, it's not even, they didn't even make a spino. They made a, a freaking indom with like a long snout and a giant sail on its back. By all manners of speaking, that thing is not a spino. It's a giant monster they made to hunt down T-Rexes. And for that reason, it goes right into Sigma. Okay, Stegos, once again in Lost World, appeared like the size of a freaking house. These things were so monstrous. Kaiju size, really. They were terrifying. They might have been the most dangerous dinosaur in Lost World. Based off their tremendous size they gave them, I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys under Chad. Okay, the Stiggy. The Stiggy didn't do much, but in the end of Jurassic World Dominion, not many people had been attacked. And then the Stiggy walks into the room, like the crowded room surrounding the, uh, the Indoraptor. This dude just winds up and starts slamming people all over the room. Like, basically, I'm assuming a lot of them died, because everyone in that room was like over 60, it looked like. And this dude's running through them all, pancaking them. Many of those old people died. I'm convinced of it. I think the Stiggy might have the highest kill count in Fallen Kingdom. Not even the Indoraptor. And for that purpose, he's going under Chad. Absolute gangster of a creature. Triceratops doesn't do much in the franchise, though it is my favorite herbivore. But what it does do is it takes a big fat dump that Ellie goes elbow deep into. And I didn't see anyone else having a hot woman go elbow deep in their poop this entire franchise. Therefore, the Triceratops is a Sigma. <sighs> Am I an idiot? And the last two are obvious. Rexy, Buck, any Rex in the franchise, automatically a Sigma. They're, it's a freaking T-Rex, dude. It, their face is literally the Jurassic Park logo. And then the Utah Raptors. I guess they're like, they're Velociraptors, but they're, I guess people say they're either based off Deinonychus or Utah Raptors, but they are Velociraptors. Either way, whatever the main Raptors in Jurassic, oh, bit my cheek again. You know, stop biting my cheeks, dude. Either way, the Raptors in this franchise, we either be the ones we get in Jurassic Park 1, those ones with the little spikes in Jurassic Park, three the beautiful pack oriented ones in like jurassic world either way raptors throughout the entire franchise are absolute sigmas dude and there's our list there's no such thing as a garbage dinosaur because they're all freaking amazing just ones that barely do anything which would land us in the dookie ones the poop is i don't know it's because i don't remember him the dookie ones i remember doing embarrassing things whereas the poop i don't remember at all the meh are scary dinosaurs that didn't pose much of a threat to our main cast though they looked downright terrifying the gangsters are creatures that didn't actually kill anything or do anything, but were much more of a threat than they visibly should have been. They're way more scary than they needed to be. The Chads are just the dinosaurs you do absolutely not want to mess with in this franchise. Even though they weren't completely accurate, they were scary as hell. And the Sigmas are the absolute most deadly dangerous ones of the franchise. Or just dinosaurs that had hot women go elbow deep in their poop. Or just compies, because they eat babies. I suppose compies ending up on the Sigma list might be the biggest thing people disagree with around here, but I don't care, dude. Did you see any other dinosaurs eat babies in the franchise? I don't think so. And there's my list. Comment any issues you have with it down below. Any stuff you'd like to see changed. Change my mind about stuff. Change my perspective on these pooper dookie dinosaurs. Either way, thanks for watching, listening to my nonsense. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>